Top of your class in the Civil Air Patrol. A pilot like you shouldn't be flying buses. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Bakersfield. Haven't you ever wanted something more, Barry? You should be serving your country. Your CIA. <sighs> Shh. Barry Shields is a great pilot. Uh, he's someone who really, family man, loved his family, uh, wanted adventure, wanted an adventurous life. Uh, He's very much uh, an anti-hero. I don't condone the things that he did, but you, you see it and there's some, you can't help it. There's this uh, wish fulfillment, you know, someone who lived beyond the rules in a way that you, that was very unique to that time period. This is the United States Drug Enforcement Agency. We are ordering you to land. All right, boys, let's land. Is he All the flying is very, it's practical. There's no CG, we're there. I did all the flying, you know. You see me put the thing on autopilot and walk to the back of the airplane. That's exactly what happened. So we, you know, and Doug and I even, you know, when we flew to Columbia, we went out to the, in the jungles uh, uh, and camped out so that we could get shots, you know, uh, of dawn shots or different shots, all those shots in the jungle, literally, Doug Lyman and I slept in a tent. We had the airplanes on the runway. It's, and we had flew out the fuel and we just filmed from early morning till late at night. And it was the only way that we could have got these shots. There's no other way we would have been able to uh, accomplish what we, what we accomplished. I was working for the CIA, the DEA, and Pablo Escobar. 1,500 kilos. That's 15. 1,500 kilos, Barry. In one go. Get it done. The thing I admire about Doug Lyman, one of the many things I admire him as a filmmaker, he, he really does not create the same kind of film twice. Um, he is constantly pushing the edges and exploring different tone and different kinds of movies. Uh, and with this, you see it, you, you know, neither one of us made a film like this before. Guns, drugs, money laundering. Did y'all know the caddies have more trunk space than any other car? I'll get each and every one of you the caddy for your troubles. See, I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> there ain't a damn thing any one of you can do about it. He's free to go. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, Boy should have taken a caddy. I don't make a movie just to make a movie. I don't, that's not what interests me. What interests me is the passion of cinema, the passion of storytelling. That's when it gets very exciting. Not, not just a job. Uh, I love this too much and I, I want to push myself and I, I want people that have that same um, sensibility. And it is an exploration, making movies. You, you are sometimes, you know, of course, we, we've all made films and we're very skilled, but you have to be willing to experience um, going into the unknown at times. And that's what this film was like on many levels. Roscoe dug this up in the backyard. There are bills blowing around everywhere. I'll rake it up in the morning. 